Learning mechanics in Rocket League takes a lot, a whole lot of repetition. In this video, I'll show you a way to get the most out of your training sessions using Baki's mod plugins. This is PC only, so if you're on console, you won't be able to take advantage of this. Now, most of you will already know about Baki's mod. Some of you will already use the plugins, but if you're a newer player and haven't heard of it, let me give you a very quick overview. It's a spectacular piece of software that everyone on PC should be using. It helps with free play, allowing you to manipulate and set up the ball in various ways. In custom training, it adds variety by adjusting the speed and angle of the ball every time you reset the shot. It also randomizes the shots so you get to try out the ones that would normally be near the end. You can also edit your car and try out any customization items like alpha boost and black market decals, but you don't get to keep them permanently and other people won't see them as it only affects what you see while the program is running. There are various other mods as well, but I'll leave you to explore them. Now, there are also community created plugins for Baki's mod, which vastly increase what you can do with it. One example is the workshop map loader that allows Epic Games users to download and play Steam Workshop maps, which is a must as the workshop maps can really enhance your training. There are loads of other useful plugins, but again, I'll let you explore. The one I want you to focus on for learning mechanics is Free Play Checkpoint by Nitro. This plugin allows you to create save points in free play, then load them whenever you mess up. This is incredibly useful and efficient as it allows you to focus all your time on the part of the mechanic you struggle with the most. For example, if you're already good at setting up air dribbles but struggle with carrying the ball, you don't want to waste time setting the ball up every time. So set a checkpoint just before you touch the ball and now whenever you reset, you're instantly able to practice the carrying part again without wasting time setting it up. Another example is flip resets. If you're like me and have no problem getting the flip reset itself, but struggle with remaining close to the ball, then with this plugin, you'll get the hang of it very quickly. After about four days of using this, my flip resets felt a lot more controlled. I didn't magically master them, but I could see definite improvements. You won't learn the mechanics in one day, but I think this is currently the fastest way to learn mechanics. Not just for the ones I've mentioned, but you can use it for double touches, ceiling shots, ceiling musty flicks. Honestly, it's pretty much useful for anything. Now, let me show you how to download and set it up. Click the link in the description and it will take you to the Backies Mod website. If you don't have Backies Mod installed, you'll need that first. So click the drop down menu at the top left and choose Download Backies Mod. Once it's completed, open the installer and follow the instructions. It's really simple and everything is automatic. After the installation, open Backies Mod so it can update if it needs to. Then start Rocket League to check if it's working fine. Press F2 on your keyboard and if everything is good, this should open the mod menu where you'll be able to access all the default mods. Press Escape to close the mod menu, then close down Rocket League so we can install the plugin. Downloading plugins is super easy and just takes two clicks. Use the same link as before to take you to the free play checkpoint page. Click install with Backies mod and a message pops up. Allow Backies mod to launch the plugin installer, then wait until it's finished installing and a message will appear telling you the plugin is ready to use. Then launch Backies mod and Rocket League. Now you're pretty much ready to use the plugin, but I like to change a binding. To do that, go into free play, press F2 and open the menu. Go to the plugins tab, select free play checkpoint. You can set your bindings to whatever you like. I just want to change the reset checkpoint from the back button to D-pad up. To do this, hold up on the D-pad and use the mouse to click checkpoint. Then select apply bindings. Now you're ready to go, so let's set up a shot. If you ever forget the controls I'm about to mention, they'll be in the description below. For this example, I'll be doing an air dribble. After I get a decent setup that I think I can score, I press the right analog stick on the controller to enter rewind mode. Then using the left analog stick, rewind back to just after the jump. Press up on the D-pad to save a checkpoint. If you aren't using my bindings, then press whatever button you have chosen. Try the shot again, then press the reload button and you'll be back to the same spot where you saved it. Now you can do as many repetitions as you need to score. After you can complete the shot, set up another one from the other side so you're getting exposed to more angles and variants. To delete the checkpoint, press the checkpoint button to reload it, press it again and at the top it will say press it one more time to delete that specific checkpoint. If you have multiple checkpoints set up, you can use the D-pad left and right to cycle through them. That's pretty much everything you need to know. You're ready to learn any of the hard aerial mechanics. The program will save all your bindings and you won't need to install anything again. Just make sure Backies mod is running when you launch Rocket League. By the way, this isn't a sponsored video or anything. It's just a really useful free tool. And I don't think there's a faster method than this to train mechanics. So I want you guys to use it. 
If you're still not sure if this plugin will help you or not, stop thinking about it, just download it and try it. It's so simple to use and I guarantee you will see improvements. If you need further help downloading or setting this up, the Discord link is in the description. Don't forget to hit that like button before you go and consider subscribing if you're looking to improve on Rocket League as I only post videos that will actually help you. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.